Good afternoon, everyone. I'm a little nervous. Before I get started, I would just like to say to every professor who gave me an evaluation that said great work, but you should speak up more often, clearly I was listening. Uh, while enjoying a cycling trip with a friend through Italy, philosopher and psychologist Carl Jung had a dream that moved him so profoundly that he cut his trip short to resume his writing. Jung believed that through listening to the guidance of our inner self and working through what he called the shadow, the darker parts of ourselves, we are able to pursue our intended vocation. This is the process of individuation, becoming a more whole individual. The themes of this process have been called the hero's journey, and they can be seen in our most beloved tales, such as Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and Harry Potter. Each journey has three stages, starting with the departure. Whether moisture farmer, hobbit, or orphan boy, each hero starts out in an ordinary life and receives a life-changing call to adventure. I suspect that the majority of us came to Antioch following a big dream or pursuing a calling. Perhaps we didn't abandon a trip through the Italian countryside, but Antioch provided an opportunity to leave behind the familiarity of our ordinary lives and heed the call of a new way of life. In 2009, I found myself, a year out of college, raising two kids on my own, laid off from a dead-end job and deeply questioning who I was and what I was doing with my life. One day, I stumbled on an ad for Antioch's specialization in LGBT, psycho LGBT psychology, and I knew I had received my calling. Now, once a commitment to the task is made, the hero usually encounters a mentor who gives them important tools for their journey. These are your Obi-Wans, Gandalfs, and Dumbledores or in my case, LGBT Specialization Director, Dr. Douglas Sedownick. <sighs> Faculty, Dr. Lauren Costine and Thomas Mondegren, and Program Chair, Dr. Joy Turek, whose vision started the specialization. Part of my motivation in pursuing the specialization was a need to better understand my own identity, and I was offered all the tools I needed to do this work. I crossed the first threshold and entered the second stage of the journey. Thus initiated, each of us climbs the mountains of course reading, APA-style writing assignments, and clinical training paperwork. We feel exhausted after too many nights without enough sleep, or too many meals out of the student lounge vending machine. In these dark moments, we discover allies and develop connections that will last well beyond our time at school. However, every hero must fight their hardest battle alone. We enter the belly of the whale what Jung called the shadow, the perilous sea journey. My time at Antioch was as much professional education as it was self-exploration, what I fondly referred to as identity boot camp. My goal, I thought, was to more fully develop my queer identity. What better place to do that than a program full of amazingly supportive LGBT affirmative therapists? Despite this great womb of affirmation, I felt like I had lost. See? I had this incredible guy in my life. And despite all the incredible women that I hoped to one day meet, it didn't change the way I felt about him. But any good fan of Fight Club can tell you, it is only after you've lost everything that you're free to do anything. I didn't reach the destination I thought I was heading for, but I had succeeded in my quest. I emerged from this place with a much stronger understanding of who I am. After this experience, I asked Doug where I could read more about journeys like mine in the literature. You'll probably have to write it first, he told me. I'm not sure if he knew I'd take that as a challenge. He might have. <laughs> um, but I did. I start my PhD program in the fall. As we walk across the stage today, we receive our rewards, but the journey isn't done. Remember, there's a third stage. The hero must bring their spoils, be they holy grails or knowledge, back to the ordinary world. If you spend enough time with a group of us, you will hear the word Antioch used as an adjective. Something that is Antioch exemplifies Antioch's version of the elixir of life. That special blend of individuality and creativity 
and community that partners learning with social action. Antioch didn't just offer a few classes addressing LGBT issues. It created the nation's first LGBT specialization in clinical psychology. We didn't just learn to counsel LGBT youth because they lack a safe space of their own. We created the Colors LGBTQ Youth Center. Today, each one of us celebrates our victory and returns home a forever changed, more whole individual. With us, we carry our new knowledge back to serve our communities and make lasting change for society as a whole in true Antioch spirit. I'd like to thank my mentors and my allies. I'm lucky to have so many of you here today my partner, and my family, both of origin and of choice, for their support, especially my daughters who have been so patient. Graduates, how about a round of applause for everyone who's helped us get here today, including yourselves. Congratulations, everyone.